Welcome back to the commissioner's office. Today we're going to be opening up some mystery products from Meyer. Both of these boxes have really cool artwork and it's high promises that they have on them. I highly doubt we're going to be pulling any of these packs, but there's always a chance at it. So without further ado, let's jump into opening some booster packs. Check it out. Can you guys believe that they keep selling these things? Mystery power boxes and then a six pack power box lightning edition. Just a bunch of fancy words to say repackaged garbage. I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, I love buying products like this because of the illusion of good pulls, but I also hate that they sell products like these. The weird thing is this one's 30, 29.99. And this one was like 21.98. So <laughs> let's start with the first one right here. We got three of these. Um, let's let's see. Look at all this roaring skies. Sun and Moon, uh, Guardians, what was that, Rising, right? Uh, that looks like a Plasma Blast or Plasma Freeze. Not sure what that is. Sun and Moon base, XY Evolutions, and then on the back, a um, bunch of XY sets. Uh, Sun and Moon base, XY Evolutions. Six booster packs, one promo card. Now, <laughs> this time they're, they're actually being a little honest. Supercharge your collection with the brand new six pack power box and then colon, Lightning Edition. Each box contains six randomly assorted booster packs from recent releases and contains one electrifying, hard to find promo card. Now, what does recent mean? Recent as in, well, and if history, 10 years is not that long for recent, but is that five years, two years, one year? Because that's a big difference, but this is what it's claiming um, you might be able to get in here. It does not say chase packs, nothing about chase packs. And then one promo card, doesn't it say something? Yeah, one electrifying, hard to find promo card. Well, we'll see about that. We bought three, so we'll see if any of them are duplicates. Uh, this one, we have bought this around Christmas time. These are really cool. I like the presentation. I don't like the idea of misleading. And that just seems to be a common thing with these repackaged items. This is MJ Holding, and so is this also MJ Holding? Um, probably. Where is it? MJ, MJ Holding. So MJ Holding, just holding all of the vintage stuff, probably keeping all the good products for themselves, reselling them under, under some other name, and then... I mean, I don't have any, any proof of this, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's obvious that's what's going on warehouse this stuff buy it for exorbitant amounts say that they're chase cards and then not really so we're gonna open all of these as randomly as we can um so there is a blister pack in here so we'll pull that out first whoa okay whoa that's okay that's that's actually a big surprise so we have a sun and moon crimson invasion so that is way more surprising than what i thought i'm trying to feel out these packs and set them all straight okay so we'll go next here we got a Whoa, 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 what's what's going on here? What's going on here? What is going on here? Oh my god, I might be the only person that knows about this. Oh Oh my god, what did I just stumble on? What product is the oh my God Where did this product come from? There's another booster pack in here a steam siege. Oh my god. Oh my god, I might be the only person that knows about this right now. And then a Ashes Peak. What is going on? Oh my god, where when did this product come out? This is from 2018. I might be the only person that just stumbled upon this. Oh my god. We're gonna have to take a break and and come back to opening these, because each one of these. This is like. This is like. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. I did not know that this was... I gotta absorb this for a minute. I gotta absorb this. I gotta come back to this. This is unbelievable. Okay, I'm sure you're all wondering what's going on right now. Somehow, we stumbled upon 2018 mystery boxes called the Lightning Box from Meyer. Somehow they made their way onto the shelves in 2024, and we just hit the mother load. So we're going to continue the video. I'm going to open the 2024 mystery boxes first and see what we all get out of the 2018 lightning boxes. So let's go. All right. I'm take I'm taking a moment to absorb all this information and what's happening right now. I, I took a moment and I looked at the bottom of the MJ holding box and now I, I did not notice this, but it does say 2018. 
on the bottom. I don't know how these were left. They were at Meyer for $21.98. We have just pulled a plethora of packs that for no reason should be on these shelves right now. Plus an XY Evolutions. I know I was poo-pooing it. I was like, this, this product looks more ambitious than any product I've ever seen. But we just stumbled upon the, the oh my God, the, the biggest thing that I have ever stumbled upon. Um, we're gonna wait on those. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna put those on the back burner. We're gonna open some other product right here. And, and we're gonna just see what's going on with these. I, these have gotta be more recent. Let's look at it. 2024. So this is 2024, that's from 2018. Um, this is a gigantic surprise. Um, something did fall out of there. My heart's pounding. I, I stumbled upon something. Finally, I stumbled upon something great. I've been getting ripped off. Ooh, and <laughs> Evolving Skies. Wow, nice. Very good setup. We have been opening a lot of Lost Origin lately. But what a surprise that was to, to find these products there. I had never seen these before. I just stopped in. Um, they were fully stocked. I'm so happy I just went with my gut and bought mystery packs because look at what just happened. We recovered some product from 2018 is what it's saying. So yeah, XY, Sun and Moon. Um, insane, insane. Like, I mean, now we have a whole different video. We have mystery mystery products that turned into the, the biggest surprise I've ever had on my channel. Um, I'm not opening these in any particular order, but if we just start pulling bangers, then I mean, we're just, we're just, we're in the market for luck today. It's just gotta be a lucky day is what it is. It looks like there might be something here. Pikachu, we do, we get a Frigibax. First time we've pulled a Frigibax on this channel. That's some very cool artwork. And then a Wigglytuff, uh, Reverse Hollow. So very cool. That Ashes Pikachu right there, we're gonna take a closer look at it once we come back around. We're gonna see all the bonus cards that they put in here because something tells me that we're not done yet and that there's a whole lot more video here and um i just i can't wait to go i can't wait to keep digging into this because this this video just evolved it did electric it is electric oops let's see what we got here what what do we have what are we in i don't even care it's hard to even focus on this when all of a sudden we come across all these Amazing booster packs. Phantom, Togekiss, I don't really care right now. I'm looking forward to the other packs here. Lost Origin and Evolving Skies. We know that the Evolving Skies is the very big possibility for packs. See now, I opened this. If I knew that this was something that um, people were after and that was on the market, I probably would have bought. Did I go out of order with this? I sure did. I would have probably bought them and I probably would have, you know, hate to say it, Made a couple bucks off of it. You know, it's only $20 and we just came across, I'm gonna have to add all of these up and see how much they were actually worth independently and see how much we got for $21.98. That was insane. I'll see if I have the receipt. I'll try to include that in the video. But we have just stumbled upon something massive, wishy-washy and then an SP on V. So pretty cool coming out of the Evolving Skies booster pack. Um, so honestly, not bad out of that. That was, this is 30 bucks, by the way, this is $30. These boxes, these old ones from 2018, 2198, I believe, I believe was the price. And they looked like they had been shopped. Looked like a few people had grabbed a couple. Maybe there were five on the shelves. I don't know. But, um, if they got home and discovered the same thing or they're sitting on them right now, they're probably regretting not grabbing them all. Crown Zenith, Fusion Strike, Shining Fates, interesting, Silver Tempest, and an Evolving Skies. So I'm actually really, really impressed with how this video is going so far. Um, just a really great variety of packs. I'm gonna aim this down just a little bit. I feel like I'm, I've been filming a little bit too vertical, or, or too horizontal, I mean. Uh, but we're gonna start out probably with the least valuable Fusion Strike and Shining Fates. Shining Fates only if you get the um, Charizard and then Fusion Strike only if you get like the Gengar or the um, Mew V Max alts. That's about it. Tynamo, Zerua, Klefki, and a Toxic Croak. So sorry again for freaking out at the beginning, but I mean we stumbled upon something. I I stumbled upon something. You guys are along for the ride. Let's see what we get out of Shining Fates. One of my favorite sets from Sword and Shield. However, 
a little mundane because the values just plummeted, so nothing's really worth anything. Cramorant, Tropius, and also just if you open enough of this, it's just, it gets tiring to pull the same cards over and over and over. Wooloo and a Dreadnought, so we do get a Baby Shiny out of that. Everything else can go in the trash because I have a billion of Shining Fates cards. So nice little Baby Shiny right there, Wooloo. And then down to these, it's kind of hard to choose which ones to open um, between Silver Tempest and Crown Zenith. About the same value. Crown Zenith for me, I want to open a gold card. I, I, I want to open a pack with a gold card because I just never get it. And this would be the video to do it. Let's see if everything just starts hitting Growlithe and a Delphox. But I mean, we got a lot of, we got a lot of throwback packs to open in a minute. And I mean, all of a sudden we're back in the X, Y, and Sun and Moon era. What a great accident to stumble upon. Unbelievable. Great Ball, Trekking Shoes, Young Goose, Cherubby, Execute, Energy Retrieval, Emolga, Latias, Galarian Gallery, very nice, out of Crown Zenith, and then a Pangoro. Pangoro. Decent, decent, decent. And then we're back after the Evolving Skies, which we have potential to get a really big, a really big pull out of Evolving Skies, plus it's an Umbreon pack. Um, but then we're gonna get into these other two power power boxes and see what we really get. Let's see if we get a big chase card, because I'd say that the legitimacy back in the day um, for these mystery packs were more legitimized. Like, you, you could actually get something that's a chase. So let's see, Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, and also why wouldn't somebody just buy these if they knew that they had them in their warehouse? Like, are employees not allowed to buy those? If so, thank, thank God, because that's awesome, but we got this stack right here, which we'll we'll recount in a little bit. This we'll just get all this stuff out of the way. That's that's all we got out of sixty dollars worth of packs. We got this Ashes Pikachu right here. This Pokemon the movie. I choose you. It's in immaculate shape too. I mean, these this looks great. And I am sorry that I had to pause this earlier. I was floored. I didn't even know what was going on. But we're about to see what else is going on right here. And again, these are completely sealed. 2018. Unbelievable. This, <laughs> I'm so excited right now. I never get excited about opening this stuff. This is before Pokemon Regionals. You might end up seeing this after that because this is just an unbelievable find. And this is opening very, very poorly. That was bad. Let's open that up. All right, let's open it from the top. If there is another blister in here. All right, yeah, there's, there's, is there? All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Crimson Invasion, oh my God, this is so cool. This is like Christmas coming early. Ancient Origins, another Ancient Origins. I do like that set. I've only opened, I think, one of them, or maybe two packs in my entire life. We got another Breakpoint. I know that, I know that people say Breakpoint and Steam Siege aren't anything great, but I mean, this was 20 bucks and we're get we're cleaning house. A steam siege, that's fine. Here we got a card. We got another Ashes Pikachu, but a different style. Very cool. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. This is so cool. Oh my god, XY Evolutions. <laughs> Charizard pack. This is so amazing right now. We're gonna have to split all of these up into stacks. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna milk this video as long as I can. Cause this is this has gotta be if anybody else is actually finding these, go ahead and please put it on YouTube. I'm gonna have to go back it or find another mire around here and see if there's any of these. Cause if there are I'm I'm doing it. I'm going for another but let's see, I'm, it, are they gonna be the same? That's fine if they are. Blister pack, I feel at top. Crimson Invasion. <laughs> Crimson Invasion. I'm gonna have to put the prices for all these booster packs on here. What do we got next? We got a breakthrough. Very nice. Very cool. All right, so we got that. What else do we got? Let's see, we got a promo card. Not a promo card, but we got a Ashes Pikachu. Good variety here too. I have not even, I didn't know these existed. I Now I have three different versions and they all have different attacks. So this is from Pokemon the movie, which movie? I don't know what movie that's from. <laughs> oh my God. So we got two XY evolutions too. Oh, we got another ancient, 
Ancient Origins, so it seems like a lot of these are kind of the same. All we can do right now is, oh, another Charizard booster pack, XY Evolutions. I don't, have I opened this on the channel? I think I opened Evolutions before on the channel. Uh, Steam Siege, very cool. And then let's see if we get any chase packs. I mean, all of these, this today, are chase packs. Break point. Oh my god, unbelievable. All right, so we might have to go through how much each one of these is going for right now. Um, and we got a variety of everything. So we got an Evolutions in every single stack. Two Charizard booster packs. Uh, artworks. We got how many Steam Sieges in Ancient Origins? It looks like Ancient Origins, one in each stack. Right? Yeah. One Ancient, ancient Origins in each stack. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. Oh my god, I am like just on the border of shaking right now. We're gonna have to go through each of these. I'm like really gonna milk this. I'm just gonna have to edit it differently. And just learning experience right now. I don't even know what to choose next. I mean, I kind of want to go to, there's a break point and a breakthrough. I do not know the quality of those, a break point and a breakthrough. And then Steam Siege, Crimson Invasion. Crimson Invasion, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do. I mean, I'm just kind of gonna throw this all together and see how this works. You guys can see me working through it, organizing it, doing all that good stuff. Um, break point, then break through, I think was what I did. Yeah, and then a Steam Siege on top. And then the Crimson Invasion. And yeah, we're gonna have to edit all this stuff together. Don't care. It's going to have to be how it is. You're going to have to deal with it. All right. So after resetting a couple times and getting my bearings and absorbing and enjoying the moment, I'm ready to finally open these. I was in awe. I mean, this is 2024, April 21st. I bought these and actually I did kind of fold up the receipt just to um, show you guys. Um, I can't show you the date without giving away some other information on there, but you know 2199 I think I said 2198 three of those uh, Amazing I did do the um, math on like the essential price of all of these collectively It's about two hundred and sixty dollars worth of product and that's on the low end for all of these But we're gonna start in order kind of how I place them uh, based on my value that I thought and also once I finally looked them up But we're, we're gonna just start jumping into it right here. These are all in very very great <laughs> Immaculate conditions right now, um, and I just noticed here these blisters are different from back uh, or for com from current ones usually I flip them over so I'm learning that right now because I haven't really had a chance to open anything like this on my channel ever but uh, Crimson Invasion we're looking at um, a Gyarados out of these the Rainbow and the Lusamine Trainer um, Rainbow Gyarados going for about 30 bucks and then the Lusamine Trainer going for about 30 as well uh, these are about seven dollars a piece on average for these booster packs and so we're gonna open all of these um, back to back to back and we're taking three from the back on these because these are all uh, XY era packs so we're gonna go one two three from the back and we I have plenty of protectors I have plenty of sleeves for everything here we're, we're gonna have such a good time opening all this stuff um, unfortunate for Meyer fortunate for me uh, fortunate for you guys this is gonna be a great video Mankey Salandit we're gonna get something big out of here let's hope we do Shellos and a we are gonna start off with something a Guzzlord GX very cool Oh, and then there is an energy on the very back, so um, maybe I did do that right. But Guzzlord GX starting off really big. Very cool. One of my favorite Pokemon that you just you just never see anymore. Um, and we're gonna put these all just in a pile. I mean, we're we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna have to do it like that. Um, I'm not. All I'm gonna do is all of these just kind of in order. Of like I said, left to right, left to right, kind of a thing, stack to stack, and just see which one comes out on top. I mean, like I said, $21.99 for all of these, and we got hundreds, a couple hundred dollars worth of product back. And there you go, the code card, and we got three from the back coming again. One, two, three. Crimson Invasion. Let's get some of the big pulls out here. Peking Red card. Uh, Gastrodon. Zuelius. A Pikachu. A Skidoo. A Starly. 
a Slandit, a Shelmet with a helmet, a Gorgeist, and a Cacturn. And then it looks like just an energy in the back right there. So nothing out of that one. That's okay. Let's see what else we can get out of here. This is quickly turning into my most favorite video. Um, I just cannot believe that we are opening such luck. I mean, when does this ever happen anymore? And when are you that person that gets the chance to get to the product first and have that opportunity? Well, I was that person this time, so I go there every day. I go to Meyer all the time. Carablast. Ooh, went kind of fast there. Jangmo, a Pikachu, and a Camerupt. So we got nothing out of the Crimson Invasion. That's okay, though. Um, it's still so fun to open products like this. Uh, next up, though, we have Steam Siege. Uh, Steam Siege, each one of these booster packs is going for about, I don't know, 8 to 10 bucks right now. Um, and that's just all based off of TCG players. Uh, current sales and stuff so somewhere in there you know a little bit of a vagueness for people that are going to call me out and not be completely exact because the market changes and you expect it not to um we got three from the back um let's see what we get out of steam siege um first time we're opening this as well um steam siege we have the guard of war secret gold for about 30 33 bucks and the Vulcanian uh secret for about 10 bucks uh, so not the biggest, um, but we are going from essential lowest value all the way up to uh, what's best according to TCG player. Uh, Mareep, a Nidorina, Nidoran, I'm sorry, Nidoran, uh, with that really cool uh, artwork in the back and a jump fluff. So nothing there. Gonna just slip that back there in that stack and move on to the next one. But um, I had no idea really how to come out the gates with this video. I was just like, well, let's just enjoy it. Let's take it for what it is. If we pull some stuff, great. If we don't, then we don't. Um, but we're still on Steam Siege right here. The perceived probable worst um, set of XY. Uh, Guard of our Spirit Link. I mean, people still like pulling these older packs. So, you know, you still get about 10 bucks for a booster pack on each of these. Nose Pass right there. Uh, Chimchar got a gear in his mouth. What did he tear up? A Duraludon? I can't even tell what that is in the background. Unknown. Um, a Meowth. Oh, that's really cool artwork on that one. I like that. That Meowth. That one looks really cool. And then a Amoongus. Don't need that one. Not the best pull right there. And then uh, next stack, we got another Steam Siege here. Um, Xerneas is the artwork. Very cool packs, too. I mean, I'm kind of opening these very haphazardly. I guess I'm a little excited about all this there's the code card we got three from the back again because it's xy nidorino very cool very purple love it ambipom pokemon ranger i bought this uh full art card not that long ago um i think at last year's regionals i just like trainer cards and i thought it was awesome fletchling a clauncher launcher an ipom let's get something big finally nose pass reverse and a xerneas so we do get a xerneas which is actually a pretty sick card right there that is really cool artwork. Like it a lot. I'm gonna give that one a sleeve. But so far, we're not hitting the big stuff, but I tell you what, I'd rather wait till the end too. We do have some um, XY evolutions in here. Uh, but next up, we got uh, Breakpoint. Breakpoint is uh, about, let's see, what's Breakpoint going for right now? 10 to 12, 13 bucks, something like that. And uh, we're looking at the Gyarados EX Secrets for about 50 to 60 bucks, and then the Skyla Full Art Trainer for about 40 bucks. Uh, first time on this channel <laughs> opening this product as well. So very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Green code card. I don't think that matters back in the XY era. I don't think people were doing what they started doing later on by weighing all the packs and stuff. Nuzleaf, a delinquent. That's weird. Great ball. Man, these look awesome. These trainers. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I like trainer arts. They just they just look better than the Pokemon cards. A Numel. A Ratata. <laughs> a Petlil. A Skoruppi. A Gyarados Spirit Link. I feel like I pull this all the time. I have pulled uh, opened this set a few times. Um, and then a Clefable. So uh, nothing out of that one to write home about. I'll, I'll sleeve those up later. Um, I'm dawdling just a little bit because, like I said, I am just trying to 
enjoy the fun of this. We got a scissor for the artwork of this one. But this is a such, oh my God, I, I cannot get over how lucky I feel to come across this. What an amazing opportunity. Ooh, kind of messed that up. Done sparse. A heat more. We got a heat more. We got a scoruppy. We got a slowpoke. We got a glamia. We got a spritzy. We got a shinx. We got a lapras reverse. Oh my god. Lapras is also one of my favorite OG original Pokemon. And then a camerupt. So not the best out of that either, but I feel like it's all a matter of time before we get one really good pull. I feel like we have the chance. And if not, we still got these for super cheap. And we got the opportunity. But breakpoint, last one right here. We got another Scizor artwork. We got three packs coming from the back. Let's see if we can get one of the big pulls out of this set. That would be very, very cool. Let's see. Sorry, trying to keep all this stuff in order. Bursting Balloon, Professor Sycamore. Gyarados Spirit Link, so three items in a row. Was that three items? No, one one support, two items. Numel, Shinx, ah, oh, very, very cool artwork on that one. Let's see if we get our first big hit out of here. I mean, Guzzlord was pretty decent, but let's see if we get something else. A Skrelp, a Drowsy. We're hitting a lot of um, Psychics in this one. We do have something back there. What is this? A Manaphy EX, very cool. So we finally get something something in return very cool ex cards kind of different now because they're lowercase first of all but very cool we get a manaphy ex out of that like it a lot i like that that's pretty cool that's pretty cool we finally get something out of there all right oh my gosh we still have some really big really big packs coming out right now so here we go we go to breakthrough breakthrough going about 16 to 20 dollars i would say right about now uh, according to pokemon tcg player and then we're looking for the mewtwo ex secret going about 45 to 50 bucks and then the mewtwo ex going about 40 bucks and let's see if we, what we can get out of here again three from the back three one two trace skyla skyla would be i think the big card out of there wasn't it Skyla was not the big card out of Breakthrough, but we are. there's a lot of Mewtwo's um, in this. Spupa, Snorlax, my boy, coming out the woodwork. Hippopotas, very cool. Pansage, there is something about these um, artworks. They are very saturated. They look really, really vibrant. Very strong colors in these. Teddy Ursa, a Parasect Reverse, and then a Vivillon. Vivillon? I guess I'm not familiar with Vivillon. Feel bad for that as a Pokemon fan. Vivillon? Probably not one of the more popular ones, I guess, then. But not bad. But I can tell you right now that the pull rates are lower than what I thought they would be just overall. I really thought we would get a few more cards, but so far all we got was the Guzzlord GX and the Manaphy EX. But we still have plenty of packs left. We paid dirt cheap prices for these what do we got there is that a what was that dolifax dolifax i don't know the pokemon why am i blanking on it uh go goat a quill lava very cool quill lava very cool evolution pokemon right there we got a wobafet we got a swine up very cool taking a little nappy poo noibat a skidoo a Zerua. Oh my god, these are all so adorable. A Vanillite. <laughs> oh my god, these are just getting cuter and cuter as you keep opening them. We do have something big here, it looks like. Well, not big, but a Trainer Full Art. That's pretty cool. Parallel City. And then a Simapore. So, not bad, not great. You know my view of it, you know. At least we get the chance to open these up. So, very cool card right there. Very, very cool. So next one... We got one more breakthrough to go here. Let's see what we can get out of this one. I'm still in awe of this. I mean, I've just been kind of befuddled the whole time. Wondering how was I going to handle this video, like this unplanned, amazing opportunity. 
I'm just going with it. Just kind of, just kind of seeing where we go. We got a reserve ticket. We got to flow it. We got an assault vest, which is kind of creepy. A piplup, a chess pin, a bronzor, a froki, a panpour, a seeking reverse. Very cool with that one. And then a non-holographic smeargle. Probably just painting the town red, I guess. All right, so now we're on to Ancient Origins, which is actually the most expensive. Well, highest value. Highest value um, for the Ancient Origins, about 25 to 30 bucks for a booster pack of these. We have three of them. We're looking for the M. Rayquaza EX Shiny Full Art. That's about 150. And then the Primal Cards, um, Kyogre and Grudon, going for about 65 to 85 bucks. Um, very very possible at this point I guess that we can pull those just based on the fact that we are <laughs> we haven't pulled like anything yet we've pulled some very very light cards so far but hopefully that all changes right here Sligu, Ampharos Spirit Link God, these, these trainers just look like oh and then the Tyranitar Spirit Link how cool are those Persian Eevee Ooh, God Look how dark Eevee's hair is on that one. That's awesome. Cottony. A Baltoy. I, I, these are weird, too, because it's like they were full art trainer galleries before they were. You know, they just look really cool. And then a Whooper. Did we already pull up? Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I doing here? A Whooper. A Spinarak Reverse. And then a Volcarona. So was that, was that supposed to happen? Because I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, where you get two of these in a pack. I've pulled the ball toy before. I've definitely pulled this pack before. Um, and I definitely got the ball toy. But that that was weird. That was very, very weird. Not not the not the cards we're looking for. But let's see, what was the pack artwork? Is are these all Hoopa? No, they're not all Hoopa. 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 There's a code card right there you guys can have at it. I got the packs. So you guys can definitely have the code cards. Not worried about that this time. We got a Rotom, which is Motor, a Porygon 2, Special Dark Energy, Dangerous Energy, Malamar, one of my favorite Pokemon who doesn't really have a existence in the universe right now, Porygon, another Eevee, very cool. Let's get a big pull here, though. That's what we really want is a big pull Meowth, a Reverse Regice, and then a non-holographic Gyarados. Ouch. It's getting tough. It's getting to be slim pickets right here. Um, but we're on to the last Ancient Origins pack that we got, which is Tyranitar artwork. Very last one. Let's go. Let's get something out of here. Because, I mean, I'd, I'd rather pull something out of here than Evolutions. I mean, except for... Oops, hold on. One, two, three, four. Right. Okay, I did the wrong amount. Three. I think I just screwed this up. We'll see. Kirlia, Fairy, Faded Town... Flareon, very nice Flareon, looking wicked. Quagsire, an Eevee to help us evolve into the Flareon. A Ralts, there's that ball toy again. Ariados, and then a non-holographic Vileplume. Man, we are just not getting what we need out of these very awesome products. But we're on to our very last product right here, to the Evolutions, everybody's favorite. Who doesn't like a pack of Evolution cards? Some of the bigger cards you can get out of here are just about every Charizard, um, but what you would be looking for is the M Charizard, Mega Charizard, I believe is what they call them. I believe. I do like the trainers in here, though. I think that there's, like a Misty, I think that there is a Dragonite full art. I think so. I, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see. I, I have not pulled both of the secret... Um, I think there's two secret trainers. Or there's a um, the Japanese one. Uh, that's an Executor, I believe. Caterpie. Magnemite. Voltorb. Sandshrew. Polyhwag. A Reverse Ratata. And... A Raticate Non-Holographic. So, so far, not, not good, but we got a Charizard booster pack on top of it. Let's see if this will help us out a little bit. 
there's the fairy energy that is no longer existent in the universe. What do we got here? I don't want to... Okay, so there is white, and, and, and white and green is the difference, it looks like, because I can kind of see something flashing from the back, but I might be wrong. We got a Char Charizard Spirit Link. We got the shiny right there. We got a Poly Whirl. We got a Maintenance Trainer card. All these throwbacks from back in the... Uh, back the base set base set 1996 tangla i always love how saturated this one is how dark it is poliwag a seal a reversed star you and then going to a full art dragonite ex very cool i've never pulled this and i now i have a buddy for my dragonite who typically joins us in videos check that out dragonite how cool is that oh that's what the cool wow oh, he was that dude yep so Already um, having fun. Oh my god, that's so cool. So we do have a Dragonite EX. Very cool. Like it a lot. All right, now we're down to the very last booster pack. We have a Charizard full, or I'm sorry, Charizard XY Evolutions booster pack. And we're ending it with such a surprise video. Um, I did such a terrible job narrating this because it's just completely a surprise. And we're going to flip it over this way so we don't ruin what color code card we got here. We're going to take three from the back because we're in the XY era, which we probably never will be again. But thank you guys very much for joining. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video whenever you can. Make sure you check it out on, um, or check it out my store on eBay at Misfit Cards. And uh, tune in every week, Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Dugong. And what are we going to end this off with? Let's see. Something big? Something not big. An electrode? Rare. No big deal. But uh, we had a very fun time opening all of this product. So um, make sure you guys check this video out. Make sure you check out my old videos. Thank you guys for joining. I'll see you next time. Peace.